So that's it. Your Pi is updated and upgraded to within an inch of its life and should now be ready to run Node Red. But before we do, let's add one further concept that is key to the part of IoT. It's another open source development from IBM and it's called MQTT, Message Queuing Telemetry Transport. It may not be immediately obvious as to why MQTT is needed, as it just sits in the path of sensor data and is another element that has to be learnt, understood and manipulated. If we have a Pi that's used to read, say, brake temperatures on cars, each car has a Pi then connected back to a main Pi that amalgamates the mass of data from all cars as part of a product development program. Establishing a link between the Pis is initially quite simple. A few connections is easy to cope with, but becomes more and more arduous as the number of sensors increases. The task grows and eventually becomes unmanageable. It's said not to scale. And with IoT involving millions of devices, scaling is essential. With MQTT, all of the sensors are connected to a data broker. They become clients of the broker and publish their data to the broker and label their details as topics. Interested parties, also called clients, then subscribe to topics that they are interested in. In this way, the direct link is uncoupled and the flexibility of having many subscribers to many published sources is established. The broker acts as a clearinghouse, collecting published topics and distributing them to interested subscribers. It's dynamic. Links can be removed and introduced, new topics added and old ones removed. It's very flexible. A task of the broker is to prioritise data and ensure a quality of service is sustained. Some important data, referred to as Class 2, must be guaranteed to get through only once as a single copy. But the lower Class 0 is volatile. It does not matter and may be lost in transit, only to be updated with the next arrival. As MQTT is so important, and in the general spirit of these videos of let's learn by doing it ourselves, we're going to install and test our own copy of Mosquito, the chosen open source MQTT server. At the time of production, the normal installation route for the Pi using apt-get is a little behind time. So the quickest and most reliable route is to add another more up-to-date repository and download from there. The process is first to grab the key of another repository. So sudo wget. Add the key that's been received. sudo apt-key add. Change directory and get to the list. cd slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list dot d slash. Grab the list. sudo wget. Do the update. sudo apt hyphen get update. and install the three packages. Mosquito, Mosquito Clients, and the Python link to Mosquito. And install. All pretty painless so far. To test the newly installed server, start it if it hasn't already started. It usually does. sudo slash etc slash intid the glub, mosquito start. The simple way to test a server is to subscribe as a client and in another screen, publish as a client. We can do this from the command lines like this. So open two sessions. The first is to subscribe. So sudo mosquito subscribe. This is a subscription to anything referenced under the topic hello world. The command is acknowledged. In the second screen, let's send as a client a message with the topic hello world thus sudo mosquito client topic hello world hello from terminal window 2 and our 29 bytes of data have been transmitted and received that ends this slight diversion into mqtt the fact that this server is now running in the background means that future testing is simpler no reboot is necessary